In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple yard gainer in the West Coast playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you're brand new to the channel, I upload Madden tips and tricks every single day on YouTube at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. So if you're interested in getting better at the game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the corner of your screen. The research shows that only 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. It's 100% free to subscribe, guys. So go ahead and click subscribe. If you don't like the content, you can always unsubscribe later. All right, guys. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to break down this far tight slot and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the passing from this, because a lot of people would say that you run bunch or you run trips tight in for the heavy passing that you're able to accomplish. And what I want to show you today is how effective these little two back sets can be at passing the ball at a very, very high level against some of the meta style defenses that you're going to face. And so the route combination that we're going to create today is actually a similar route combination that you can use from trips tight in from gun bunch. You see pro players use all the time but we're going to do it from far tight slot. Now, defensive adjustments, what we're going to do is we're going to go with kind of a common um, defensive uh, setup here with the flats are going to be on five. The curl flats are going to be on 20. And then most people put these hooks on five yards, but we'll just leave them on default for right now. And we're going to work out of the nickel 335. This is one of the most popular defenses in Madden 21 right now. A lot of people are using this. Um, I actually have a full defensive ebook on the nickel 335 wide. If you want to pick it up in the description, it's my 46 uh, defensive ebook. It actually goes over more formations than just the nickel 335 wide as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to work out of a couple of different coverages. The primary one that you're going to work at, we're going to work out of is some Mabel coverage, some things like that that a lot of people are going to use. And the play we're going to be breaking down today is X spot. This is one of my favorite plays uh, in Madden 21. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the ball off and give myself just a little bit more space. And we'll show you this uh, route combination. Now, you can be on the short side, the wide side, the near side. It doesn't really matter um, for this. I mean, it, it does matter in some little ways. But all in all, you're going to be fine. Okay. So what you're going to do here at the snap of the ball, you're going to see this look right. A lot of people are going to do this right here. Okay. So all we're going to do, all we're going to do with our, of course, I accidentally bumped my, dropped my controller. Sorry about that. Um, but a lot of people are going to come out and they're going to basically give you that, that essentially they're going to give you what I just showed you, right? They're going to give you that look. Not very many people are going to base the line when they play a formation like this. It's just been my experience, okay? So a lot of people are going to do this right here. Now, the basic combination, like I said, that you're going to see from a lot of different people in Madden is you're going to see some, some variants of this look right here, right? Some kind of coverage like this. So drop, drop a and basically say, please don't hurt me defense. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Chris Godwin and I'm going to put him on a hitch route. I'm going to take my fullback and put him on a swing route to the right side. And then I'm going to put Evans on a slant. And basically this is going to create a couple of really, really quick reads here for your quarterback. You're either going to hit that tight end on that post route, which that post route is a very nice post route. Now, Let's say that you have a uh, tight end apprentice. You can obviously put the tight end apprentice on a tight end apprentice post route. It's probably going to work a little bit better. But if you don't have a tight end apprentice, you can still run this route combination and still be very effective because it's a, it's a stock uh, post route. But here you'll see if I do run the post route, um, it does a good job. Now, they're going to have to Mabel coverage both sides. And that's really the, the trick of this is what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself into a user battle with a lot of the way that they're going to play defense. For example, if they're not playing hard flats on the outside, your first look is always to this little route right here to the running back. And if you have a backfield master ability or a hot route master quarterback, um, you can actually put him on a little shoot flat route right here, just like this. And you'll find that this little shoot flat route gets out there a little bit quicker, a little bit better than the stock route. If you don't have that, you can put him on a wheel route. The reason I wouldn't suggest putting him on a wheel route is because it's going to mess up with the spacing. If they are running some kind of Mabel coverage, you're not going to get the same pulls. But as you can see right here, like it's just a quick throw, get out and go get your yardage, you know, basically free yards if they don't hard flat. So now what they're going to start doing is they're going to have to hard flat that side. So what you might see them do is you might see them shade their coverage down out of a cover three type of set. 
And if they do that, that means they're going to have to play hard flats on both sides. And what that's going to leave open is it's going to leave this slant route open all the way over here. As you see here, it attacks that little pocket on the right side of the screen. So then what they're going to have to do is maybe they're going to essentially say, okay, well, we're going to hard flat one side, okay? So we're going to hard flat this left side, but we're not going to do anything to the right side. We're going to let the right side be what it's going to be. Well, in that situation, if they do that, you still have answers. As you see here, these little quick swing routes from far tight slot, what I like about them is they get really good separation um, and they get really good rack catch animations. So if they're not hard flatting, you can get this out here quick and you see you always get that little rack animation and you're not going to get held up like you would last year. So this really allows you to be able to run this at a pretty high clip. And if you have a hot route master, again, you could put him on a shoot flat route. And as you see there, he'll continue to get separation and continue to get yardage for you. Okay. So a couple different options there, but honestly, the swing route, like it's very, very underrated. This thing gets really good separation for me and does a really good job out of this formation. Okay, so you have two flat routes. So what, does that, what that's going to mean is that's going to mean that they're going to have to, um, they're going to have to hard flat both sides. Okay, 100%, they're going to have to do it, or they're going to have to do some kind of variance of where they're running man-to-man -man coverage, which will show you how to beat man in just a moment. If they hard flat both sides, what we've talked about is your routes are here are going to come open at a late time at a late point. You see, they're going to come open um, at different points. And so what this is going to force your defense to have to do is now they're going to have to go with some type of Mabel coverage on the defense. So something like this is going to force them to continue to have to drop people um, in the in the in the. Um, in their defense right and if you have a mobile quarterback they're probably gonna have to have a spy on the field so it looks something like this right here right um, again just a simple Mabel coverage so once they start Mabel coveraging that's actually what you want honestly um, it, it really is actually gonna probably benefit you more uh, when they start to Mabel coverage because you're gonna have a lot more opening over the middle of the field um, what you'll see with the slant route is the slant route will get a pretty good separation and as you see if it's just a basic cover three they'll actually oftentimes um, run with the slant okay so to just kind of show you what else you can do with this we'll do something like this so that the safety doesn't run with them because if the safety runs with them it completely is gonna be wide open for the tight end now the tight end route will be wide open um, don't get me wrong when you do this so you should have both the slant and the tight end route open at some point so if you see them drift out now you're going to work this middle of the field as you see right there that tight end route is going to come open oftentimes they're going to user the tight end this has just been my experience they're going to try to user the tight end and then they're going to try to come back down um, on the underneath route and what this is going to allow you to do is basically, you know, prevent that because the beauty of this is they can't, um, if their curl flats are backed off at 20 yards, they're backed off at 20 yards on both sides. They can't have one play 10 yards and one play 20. It doesn't work like that this year. So they have to kind of pick and choose, you know, what they're going to do. So by having this little hitch route right here, this route is kind of your check down read. And you'll see that you can actually, you see how I can get this route to Micah. And that was a bad example right there. But I can get this route to Mike Evans open pretty much almost 100% of the time if they're doing some type of Mabel coverage. Okay, I want you to hear me say Mabel coverage because that's the key word uh, to this. They have to be Mabel coverage. So you see something like this right here. And then maybe something like this. Like this is a very popular defense that you could see. You could see something like this right here um, from 335 wide. And again, the idea is I want to show you this Mabel coverage beater here on this, this motion slant. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to low ball it. And as you can see there, it's going to get open against Mabel coverage on the sideline because that curl flat is backed off at 20 yards. Um, now what I do is I want to show you like basic, basically like default zone coverage. Um, what if they what if they don't Mabel coverage, right? What, what's going to happen then? So let's go over that really quickly. And we will go. We will go to man coverage as well. And I'm going to show you man coverage first, just so that I can show you that this is 100% consistent against man coverage as well. And it, again, this is kind of my base pass play from this. This is my play that I really like to go to um, when I'm just trying to move the ball. I'm just trying to get some yardage, uh, honestly. 
So this is man coverage, and I just want to show you really quickly. Um, first and foremost, one of the things you're going to notice is that this this formation is kind of tough to defend against man. Um, you're going to get a lot of that right there. And if you take your back, um, if you if you actually if you if you do something like this right here, I'll show you out of X spot. This is a way that to kind of turn this into a man beater, um, even if you even if it's not really a man beater. One of the things you'll notice is this guy right here, Godwin is never going to get pressed because he really can't get pressed, right? So you'll see he's going to run free, and you can actually you know, still get this ball out. Let me show you man coverage there. It was actually his own, but let me show you this. Um, let me show you this really quickly. So this is man bump, right? Man bump. And the, the beauty of this formation is you can kind of play in some motion battles, but if you have this basic front right here, Oftentimes you can get that ball out to the to the tailback there. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do it in this front, but I'll, a lot of times you actually will will be able to do that to the twin side. Now, if you're not able to do that, that's fine. You're just going to continue to work through your progressions, and you continue to use these motion snaps. And what you'll notice is if you use motion snaps here, you see they do have man coverage on the tailback. So the tailbacks are essentially eliminated with this coverage because the the man coverage um is going to do a fairly de decent job now if you wheel this back in the backfield sometimes it will actually cause um a man switch i'll show you real quick yep right there and he end up it's kind of a tight throw it does take a little bit of time to learn this throw and that's why i would say like dang it uh that's why i would say i would almost recommend that what you do is throw him on a swing route as opposed to a wheel route, just based on on what I've been seeing from a defense like nickel three three five wide, where a lot of people are going to want to run some type of man coverage. Um, this is going to be very effective. So, you know, let's say you do something like this, but you put him on a swing route, not a wheel route, right? See, now it's going to get him out there a little bit more. And so the, the, the corner can't undercut that flat route as much as he could. Um, now, if you have Hot Route Master, and let's say you run, they're running the, the cover one, um, the cover one defense on you. If you have Hot Route Master, um, you could do something like this right here and see he's still going to get out there pretty nicely. Now, this little shoot flat does a pretty good job. And then last thing I wanted to show you against man before we show you the other routes on this play is if you put the running back on a wheel, one thing you will notice is if you throw it like right there, you see he does get out there and he does beat man-to-man -man coverage. It's a very quick throw. You need to read this thing quick. But if you see, if you see man and you can get the ball out there quick enough, you'll find that this is actually a pretty solid little man beater. Get it out there. That's the route that you want because as you can see here, it gets about 20 yards against man coverage. So it's it's really good. It's really hard to use it too um, because it's, it's, it's basically an extended run play. That's why I actually like the swing pattern. Um, if you don't like the swing pattern and you want to have the wheel pattern, um, you just have to make sure that you get to see that's what you don't want to have happen. If, you, if that happens to you, you know, it's kind of pointless to run this. But with the swing route, what you'll find is, and not very many people run swing routes, but what you'll find here is you can throw it right there, get out and rack, catch it and go. That's the advantage that you're going to have because they can't, they can't get that man assignment and you can do it on both ways. Like even if I still do the same motion that I was doing, you'll see here, I'll still get the same switch. So motion over, he call he follows him. I can get this out and go quick against any defense right so you have that ability just wanted to show you that against man coverage that's a little bit of a um, little bit of what you can do against it now another thing you can do is yeah i'll have to look i'll have to show you that in another video there is a way to get a man switch on that linebacker um from certain formations so you kind of have to be prepared for that but but anyways let's show you the rest of the reads against man the rest of the reads are relatively simple so you have your two underneath swing routes right and then you have these little routes right here but basically um this slant is going to kill man-to-man -man coverage you'll see here you're going to get a lot of lob balls um a lot of open throws against this and remember that one of the things that a lot of people like to do in man coverage is they really like to shade coverage over top and they want to put like two purples on the field that's like a very common coverage well, if they do that against this play right here, you're going to be able to hit this little low ball, uh, this little hitch route to Chris Godwin. Pretty much, um, honestly, I can probably snap throw this 90% of the time 
if they run man coverage. So if I see man coverage, and that's where I love the scheme because it's such a quick hitting little formation. It's just kind of a natty little formation that can really hit quick. But what you'll notice is right here, if I motion Godwin here, he's got inside position. I can throw that right at the right at the right at the break like quick. If they're man aligning, if all these things are true, but realistically, you're always going to have inside position with Chris Godwin's route. So as long as that linebacker doesn't drop in a zone, you can throw that right there. You can throw it quick, okay? So that's a, that's an option. You can also throw it late. So let's say that they are running, you know, cover two man and they're shading coverage up. You can still throw this route. There's nothing, you know, nothing lost really um, if you do this. So low ball, click on, secure catch, and that's an easy four to five yards against man-to-man -man coverage. What I also like about this is this is actually going to do very, very nice against the meta man to man coverage that you'll see a lot, which is the shade outside, shade over top, and then put two purples on the field. Um, you can your snap throw is still going to be relevant to Godwin if you want to if you want to hit it. If you don't want to hit it, and right there, Kenny Clark just went kind of crazy on me thanks to practice mode super shed defense. Um, but if you don't want to hit Chris Godwin then what you'll see here is you'll have these two crossing routes come wide open um, across the field. So the slant route is always your first read. It's always your first read. As you see right there, you can hit it right in that pocket. The swing route is going to pull that purple zone out of the way, and you're going to be able to hit that route to um, – to Chris Godwin. Now this is a default drop, so those purple zones are going to play a little bit better. Um, just so you're aware of that, they're going to play a little bit better on the slant, but they're going to play a lot worse on the route to the tight end. So you'll see here you've got your little setup, and now you see here the tight end has ran away, wide open man, wide open read against man coverage. Now this is where route running is critical on your tight end. So if you don't have a great tight end, I would recommend trying to find one. Um, honestly, you really do need route running on your tight end for this offense to work well. Um, if you don't have route running on your tight end, but it's like if you're using the Bucks and you can hot route him to a post route, that will get a lot more separation than the other one against man-to-man. -man. The X-spot one will work. Um, it's just the X-spot one work, won't work as well against man coverage um, as this one will work. But let me show you this really quickly. This is just X-spot against man and you see here, I mean, he beats Jair Alexander. So this is a consistent read against man coverage. Now what I wanted to do is I wanted to cover um, a couple of different things that the defense will try to do from a zone perspective um, as well. So I want to go back over Mabel, Mabel coverage, but I want to basically do cloud flats and hard flats, right? So we can show you this right here. So you see something like this. It's a very popular little coverage defense. And... Um, one of the things that I want to show you is X spot. Now, if you want to get the full scheme for, for the West Coast playbook, all you got to do is just shoot me a text message. I'll be releasing uh, the full far tight slot offense um, in our text message membership, which is going to go out tonight. Um, so if you want to get the full far tight slot scheme, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 3644. It's also in the description and in the top left hand corner of your screen. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is against zone coverage have answers, right? So you'll see here, once again, he's going to have inside leverage. So I can easily snap throw that route to Godwin every single time against this. Whether they're baseline or not, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm always going to have a window if they're Mabel coveraging. If they're Mabel coveraging. If they're not Mabel coveraging, like let's say they're doing something like this, right? where they drop all their linebackers in hook zones and they shade underneath. Now it's a different, a little bit of a different beast, a little bit of a different defense. I can't throw this, right? If I throw that, that's a pick. So the linebacker, you got to, it's kind of a read. You got to be able to tell if that linebacker drops into a flat zone and you'll be able to tell really quickly because if he drops to a flat zone, um, he's going to drift away. If he's not in a flat zone, if he's in a hook zone, then he's going to stay on. But if he's in a hook zone and he stays on, let me show you what. Let me show you the next thing that's going to be wide open. So you see here again this one little, one little isolated read. But now you can hit your little fullback route and get about five to ten yards on a good pass lead. Um, and you know, good pass leads are critical. If you if you don't have a good pass lead on this it won't work right. You're going to be very frustrated with this route. But if you understand the pass lead, which basically is just outside, 
right? Just get him outside, let him run. You see here it's an easy five to six yards if they're not playing hard flats on their outside guys. So now what I want to show you is the slant route against um, against man to man. So let's do this way there. So this is um, or not not man to man against against like a standard uh, coverage defense, right? Like if they're not doing zone drops. What you'll notice is the slant route still comes open. It just comes open over the top of it because the flat route will pull down those. Um, a lot of times the flat route from the back will pull down stock purple zones really, really well. Um, and so you're able to be able to hit that. Let me show you a curl flat uh, coverage instead of a seam flat, just so you can see, um, you know, kind of the the trajectory here. So this is a shaded up curl flat, and then we have uh, cloud flats on the field as well. Or not cloud flats, I'm sorry, hard flats. Because if we don't have hard flats, I can hit these little quick routes. Now what you'll see is a slant. See how he kind of sits back on it? But then what happens is on the sideline, this thing kind of goes a little, wonk little wonky. And the other thing is the cloud or the curl flat zones will oftentimes shoot out a lot more so they're not going to be in the middle of the field. So you're, you're going to have a window to throw this ball, which is basically going to be like right in the middle of the field here. So you look quick to your backs, nothing open, and then basically you've got that route right there. Because by now, the, that curl flat is going to play curl to flat. Well, there's technically no curl over there until the slant comes. So he's not going to drift back to the slant until the slant is fully in his area. And so that's where you're able to hit that against that zone. The beauty of this offense, honestly, is the simplicity of it, in my opinion, um, and the ability to just attack the defense um, in a variety of ways from different plays. This is one of my favorite plays in the game. But what you'll notice now is if they're in default alignment, then where they're really going to struggle is with this route to the tight end. You'll see there it's a consistent low ball, wide open pass um, on X spot. If you have a tight end apprentice and you put him on a um, – a post route you'll see it's even better and I'll show you that real quick by doing um, by doing this right here so I have curl flats and I have and I have hard flats on both sides and what you'll notice here if you just watch the tight end route he's gonna get in behind them because they haven't dropped them back so he gets in behind it and underneath that deep third very easy little read right there for the for the tight end so this formation this play um, this formation is very very good um, it's very very powerful especially if you can get like a slot apprentice and a tight end apprentice um, if you're playing mutt or just a hot route master quarterback if you could do either one of those things this thing becomes um, in like just borderline the best offense in the game because you can do things you can do a lot of things with this motion right here and i know it doesn't look like much but this motion right here will kill people they will not be able to stop it you'll be able to hit that over and over and over again one of my favorite plays to run is curls and um, it's because you've got that streak to the tight end you've got this little shoot little quick flat here um and then you've got this little sit route right here to godwin so a lot of really really good things that you can do with this offensive scheme um there's obviously a ton of flood concepts we didn't even get into the fact that you know if they're running a little bit more of a basic approach to their defense you can hit them with this read right here um, there's so many things you can do from this formation. We're going to get into a lot more of them today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a text message. And if you want to get my full defensive ebook, that link is in the description as well. Um, it goes over the whole 46 playbook. So nickel three through five, three through five wide, four, six bear, three, four bear, all of it. So thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, shoot me a text.